Smithsonian American History Museum. But yes. it's already like almost two o'clock, so we only have like a few more hours. But three hours, fingers crossed, we can check I, everything. I'm, I'm sure we can. Three hours is a pretty long time. But yeah, it's yeah, free. So we could just walk in and not have to wait in line for anything and pay because it's free. You got your map crystal? Got my map. Map. There's a lot to explore here. So, some things I want to check out. Um, what I want Candy to check out as well is uh, Dorothy's ruby slippers. There's Abraham's hat. I haven't. I didn't check it that out last time. Also, a piece of the Berlin Wall. Lots of things to check out. So, we're gonna go. at is the Thomas Jefferson desk like the original on this desk Thomas Jefferson wrote the first draft of the Declaration of Independence in June 1776 so this is like what they used back in the day to advertise for camp for campaigning yeah for campaigning all the candidates like it has actually some cute stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I like this, the cards. I like the cards and like this huge ass uh, tobacco roll right here. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at that, a pipe. Look at that spider thing, it's like, creepy. <laughs> it's like, what? what is that? It's so creepy. It is pretty uh, funny. Also this doll, what? really dig this. It says, objection. Women are too pure for the dirty pool of politics. But the answer? If the pool is dirty, the time has come to clean it. Women have had long experience cleaning up after men. This is the old um, ballot Oh my gosh, area. that's so complicated. I, do. I would get nervous getting in there. I know. I was like, what do I do in here? <laughs> what button do I push? <laughs> that's crazy. Here it is. Dorothy's Ruby slippers. This is definitely something you have to see when you come here. It's actually on the third floor. When you come up the escalator, it's like right there, right in front of you. But I actually like this section a lot, this entertainment section. I love how they did this display of like, you know, all the iconic moments in US history. Another thing to look at is R2-D2 and C-3PO. Costumes from Return of the Jedi 1983. So if you're a Star Wars fan, come look at this. If you like Ali Wong, you can look at her dress when she was pregnant that she wore on her comedy show. A lot of people wore this as a Halloween costume. They oh, they did? This striped black dress and they just put a baby bump oh, to be Ali Wong. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. With so, the yeah. white glasses. Oh, that's a great idea. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's that's genius. It's from 2016 already? That's a long time ago. This is Christy Yamaguchi's Ice Skates from 1992. Oh, no, wait, 1990s? She has that classic the bangs. Yeah, she does. That's not that's not a breeze point, right? So okay. she hair spray that up. Yeah, we used to have to do that in school because that was a style in the 90s, the early 90s. But she was the first Asian American woman to win an Olympic gold medal in figure skating. And her grandparents were actually held in the incarceration camp during World War II. If you like Xena uh, Warrior Princess, they have her costume here. I remember this show. It kind of used to be a big deal. <laughs> Wasn't there a sidekick with another girl and they thought maybe they were lesbians? Lesbians, yes. There was a whole thing about that. They also have Mr. Rogers sweater and shoes. From 1980. But this is like a really cool section because they have uh, all the dresses. Like the iconic dresses that the first ladies wore. Yeah. I love it. Like, this is nice. Uh, this is Eleanor Roosevelt wore this one. She said she preferred simple outfits because she was a traveler. Oh. Oh yeah, like look at the back of that. This is when they, you know, had like that butt lift. Yeah, <laughs> that's interesting how they used to do that. Yeah. Like that. 
That's Jackie Kennedy's dress. That one. Very simple. I like this red dress. Yeah. Oh, Eisenhower. Oh, so she wore this at the 1957 state dinner. I'm not into dishes either, Candy. But the interesting is, they, they designed design this. They they designed, and so like each era of the presidency different. has their own design plate. Isn't that interesting? I never knew that. So yeah, so it says, you know, Louisa, John, and Adams created these pieces. Yeah, <laughs> super American. Yeah, that one has a flower. Yeah, make sure you put an eagle on there. Yeah, it's like, don't put any flowers. <laughs> this is very simple. Yeah, again, like just me. Roosevelt. Edith Roosevelt did this one. I actually like this. This is pretty nice, nice and simple, but still America. Yeah. Edith Wilson. Oh, this is cute. This is a cute one. I like the little teacups the they started adding. Ladybird. Aw, Ladybird. Yeah, red's too much. That one's pretty. Nancy, Nancy did that one? Uh, yellow. Yeah, it's Hillary. Hillary did that one. Oh. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. She was like the only one that went off. She kind of did something different. Yeah. And yeah, she put the White House mm -hmm. on it. She was like, she yeah. has like a subtle White House up top Yeah, there. she's probably like, can we stop doing the eagle? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you guys, there's other symbols besides yeah. eagles. And lastly, another eagle. Yeah, this is still my favorite dress of all the first ladies, Melania Trump's. Smithsonian Institution's most treasured icons is his top hat, worn by Lincoln to Ford's theater on the night of his assassination. Oh. Right. So another thing to look at at the History Museum is George Washington's chair. It looks like it's in pristine condition. I mean, it looks like brand new. It's the easy chair that was located near Washington's bed. He sat in it not long before he died. Oh. The upholstery is not original, that's why. Okay. It's not original, that's why it looks so oh, new. Like, wow. Yeah. But yeah, this is the body of the chair. The, the actual piece is what he sat in. They just like redid the, the fabric. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go into Gunboat Philadelphia next. The Philadelphia was part of a small American fleet built in the summer of 1776 uh, to stop the British forces. During the battle, the gunboat was hit by a 24-pound cannonball, and then it sank, and then 160 years later, underwater, uh, they found it and brought the boat back in 1935. This is the boat, right? Yeah. I mean, from 1776, that's incredible. <laughs> can come upstairs here and get like a above view, like a top view of the boat. I was just telling Candy, like, it's like, it blows my mind that this is from 1776. And they just like, they got it from underwater 160 years later. It doesn't look bad, you know? I mean, I know they preserved it and everything, but it looks amazing. Yeah, so this is, George Washington's uniform from 1775, but like he's so huge, like for a man in the 1700s, he was more than six feet tall, which is insane. So 
that's what he looks like with that on. And that's the shoulder pads. <laughs> the shoulder decorations. The tassels. Another favorite display of mine here at this museum is this, the way they did the TVs here, showing the Vietnam War. Like, what a clever way. <laughs> These guys are enjoying it on the couch over here. So this is the piece of the Berlin Wall. That fell in 1989. I like this picture. In 87, President Ronald Reagan stood at the Berlin Wall and declared that the free world had bested Soviet communism. Freedom is the victor. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Oh, we did that speech! Uh, up at the president's room. This is like um, like the ad section, uh, like best ads. And I will always remember these dummy guys who risked their lives for us. Got in multiple car accidents. Yes. You know they're making um, ones that reflect more female bodies. Oh, really? Yeah, because uh, these are more like based off of male bodies. Uh, Actually, this reason they were talking about that. Of course, Feminist Candy would know this. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even that long ago, but I, I totally forgot. We use like this credit card machine where you like just scan it with um, a paper underneath. So you put the, uh, the credit card on there and there's like a sheet of paper it's underneath like a, or yes, over like, it. So you're kind of like just tracing it, basically. Yeah, so letters are like, what do you call it, embossed? Yeah. So when you put it on there and you slide the top bar, it's basically just imprinting it on the paper. Yeah. So you don't have to like write it down yourself. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like a little embossed thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a little embossed thing. 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 I just noticed it like from afar. I'm like, oh, I gotta go check that out. <laughs> it's interesting how everyone else is like a circle. Yeah. And Japan was like, we're gonna make ours really different. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be original. I should have kept it that way. <laughs> yeah. It's such a pain to have all that in your wallet. I know. I don't know what the back of it looks like. Oh, the back of it looks cool too. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Have more old Japanese coins. Like this is really interesting. I've like, what is this? That looks really <gasps> number four commemorative coin Japan late 16th century. Oh, commemorative coin. Okay. And this original one. Like what? I love all these like different shapes they made. 1586 to 87. Hey. This is China. It's interesting right here. This is also a form of money. It's a stone money. It's like so huge, but it's basically a stone ring money from the Pacific Island of Yap. It weighs 168 pounds. Not intended to circulate like a coin, instead it is used um, reserved for significant or ceremonial payments such as diaries. Ooh. Finally! Finally! I think this is where Julia Child is. Yeah. There it is, right here. Right here. <laughs> Charles Kitchen. Right here, we found it. Right in the beginning. There's there's the Julia Childs right there. Candy's excited. This is Candy's favorite person. This whole section is about her. Wow. I didn't think I was gonna this 
Yeah. Because in her movie, they showed at the end, like, um, how they were going to the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, they did? Yeah, that's oh. not what I'm envisioning, so this is something completely different. Oh, okay. Um, but, I mean, this is even better, because that was just like one little thing I saw. Yeah. Candy's watching her show. <laughs> Setting up an omelet party, wow. They don't do that anymore these days. <laughs>